super proud of you right now to get everybody on the same page and okay. everybody's talking about you as a leader you know like so what are you seeing in terms of what how, where are you guys at in that process coming off the flowing tour going through these practices heading into sunday's exhibition yeah so i just think a lot of growth especially uh last night after our scrimmage um just being able to watch the tape and seeing the areas that we need to grow in um i think communication continues to be one and i think it's that for every team across the country. Everyone wants to communicate better. Um, so we're talking a lot about that and then just our overall energy and just embracing um, just kind of who we want to be, the, the gritty team, the scrappy team, the team that is constantly making plays and um, just turning over to the other team. So AG mentioned that energy too being a big thing he wanted to see Sunday. So is that mm -hmm. something you guys have been inconsistent in bringing in practice and that you just need to find on a more consistent basis? Yeah, I think, I think, uh, that's a great question. I think we're learning how to still play with each other. And I think with that comes a lot of internal thinking and where do I need to be? What do I need to do? How do I need to? And so I just think like, we just need reminders right now. And so I think that's where I'm trying to um, step up and whether it's on the baseline, whether I'm you know on the court, off the court, just reminding us, hey, be, vo be vocal, make sure we're talking to somebody, make sure you're talking once you're doing whatever it is. Um, but I think it just comes with time. Like we're trying to figure a lot of things out right now. We're trying to figure out each other. And so I think the communication will come um, the more confident that we get. And as a transfer, how do you, what do you see your role is in terms of instilling that gritty, scrappy identity that you're talking about? Because you can't talk to what was here before you. But yeah. uh, no one would say Oregon women's basketball under Kelly was gritty or scrappy for yeah. the last 10 years. Yeah. That's just not part of what it's yeah. been here. Mm -hmm. It's been flash and scoring lots of points yeah how do you go about trying to instill something that's just very different than what people have seen mm -hmm. i think i think uh, as much as you talk about the past we have to worry about the present right now and you know we don't have the same players that we did on on past teams and you know i was a fan from afar for those years um, but i think just bringing in my experience in my four years at a different university and the success that I saw there and what I was capable to do, but also listening to our teammates and listening to uh, what they liked about last year and what they felt they need to improve on to make strides forward. And we came to the, the part that we need to be gritty, we need to be scrappy, we need to disrupt. And so I think that's gonna be a big word for us this year, just being able to set the tone. I think it goes back to um, what I just mentioned to Rob, of just coming in and, and bringing that reminder of this is who we said we wanted to be from day one. And so like, we can't let that go practice after practice. We have to continue to stack days. And I think my job is just to come in and, and set the tone, be the standard, and also just remind us of who we wanna be because they're not used to being that team. You talked about watching from afar. What was it that brought you to Oregon? What made you want to, you know, finish out your career here? Yeah, so I think I wanted something more. I wanted a challenge. I wanted something. Um, I wanted to compete for something bigger. Um, and so I think just one, the opportunity to play at this university is a huge blessing to me and something that I never thought in my wildest dreams I would be here. And so obviously to see the Sabrina's like in my old school, I was literally cutting up film of her and watching five minutes straight ball screens of Sabrina and Ruthie and what they're doing, how she's doing it. And so it's just been pretty cool. Um, even how they just casually like talk about her, like, you know, being at places, I'm like, y'all don't understand. Like I literally was saying, watch her. Um, and just break down her film. So it's, it's pretty cool to that aspect. Um, but I think just, again, just something different, something more um, and just kind of stepping outside of comfort zone um, and just, you know, accepting that challenge. And Oregon happened to be the place that I felt most at home with. Having one of her, Sabrina's former teammates now on the staff and being around, what has that been like for you with Adi? Yeah, no, it's been awesome. Adi's great, um, super cool person, uh, just a, a great basketball mind and just being able to kind of have her presence and her energy around um, and then someone that isn't too far removed, but also kind of took a path that I'm looking to take kind of playing professionally and, and just her mindset. So it's been great to have her around and just her basketball mind and, and energy. Did you get to beat Sabrina yet? I haven't. I heard she comes to the game on Sunday though. So I'm a little nervous. Don't tell her that. Don't don't put that in there. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly was saying you really stepped into kind of the point guard role. What, what, what kind of point guard are you in terms of shoot first, distributor, a little bit of both? Kind of what do you bring? So I like to call myself a playmaker. So I would say I'm a playmaking point guard. I like to um, 
over my four years, I've played on the ball, I've played main point guard, I've played off, I've played a combo. And so I've kind of seen the whole the whole picture and I also bring the four years of experience of what it looks like. And so I think, um, especially if I'm playing with like a, a chance at the two who isn't normally a point guard, like just being able to bring my experience to her, like how can you use us? How can you use me to get you better shots, to get everyone better shots? So just kind of bring that, um, that playmaking ability to set up people, but also, at the end of the day, like I'm still a three-level scorer. So being a threat, um, being a scoring point guard that can also get people the ball when they need to get it, where they need to get it, and making sure we're getting the most efficient shots to make us successful. To piggyback on that, when you've seen Chance play that one position, what have you seen from her play? Um, I mean, she's a hooper. Y'all seen it last year. Like she's gonna, she's able to be a playmaker too, but she's more of a a scoring guard because that's what they needed from her. And so I think just being able to communicate with her, um, kind of the difference in being a playmaker um, and being a scoring guard. Because if you if you go from a wing to a point guard and you try to be something that you're not, then it 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 messes up the whole the whole system of our offense. And so she's not a pass first point guard to where I might fill a role of a more like, hey, we need to get Philly the ball in the post. What's that look like? Hey, we need to get G the ball in the short corner. What's that look like? Hey, Chance hasn't got a shot in three possessions. What's that look like? To where like for her, like she needs to be confident enough to just like she go gets hers. And like, that's what we need from her. And so I think just being able to balance that out for her and just kind of be that Hey, like you working real hard for your shots, like use me to get you an easier shot or get us all an easier shot. So I think um, just a lot of talk between us and what we need from each other.